was going to say, there is one basketball anime, though, that I hate, and I'm happy that you are kind of have a little bit of dislike of basketball. I, you guys, have you guys heard of Kuroko no Basketball? Oh, God. I think I may have heard that before. Yeah, I've heard of it. Yeah, that's just so <laughs> bad. On some I'll level, I don't way. even want to. The abridged series was more, there was only two episodes of that, and it was more accurate to actual basketball than the actual series. Uh, it's general overview, Kuroko, he's the sixth man. He makes every, uh, on the school, what is it? The, the story is like he was on a team of like the generation of miracles. And it was like, they went undefeated in middle school. Never lost a single game. And in the back of my head, I'm like, that's common. Like, I, like, but I say this is middle school. I can't play I ever watched middle watch school. If you can play so much confidently, you're going to go undefeated. Unless you're coming straight up from Baltimore or D.C. where basketball is super competitive. Not to throw a shade at other cities, but I'm a Maryland resident. So Baltimore basketball for life, they're the best city. But Baltimore, it's like, it's not like they are like in middle school. middle school. This was, there's going to be plenty of undefeated teams. And that, so that was the first thing. They treated like that was a special thing. And there, and there was even a thing where it was like, uh, two players can never go against each other. Otherwise, it like destroys their bo bodies. It's like, that's not how that works either. And the other thing. I mean, I, I, to be I, fair, I, they might I, be I, thinking I, of like Japanese middle school. Which is a bit I, different I, from I, our middle school. Maybe, but it's like the disconnect. It's I guess it's a little bit of maybe the Western culture that you brought. The disconnect is there because it's like <laughs> middle See, being I, undefeated I, in middle school is not a big deal. That all these players will be. You get the point. Even the manager of the team was a sought after and other shit like that. <laughs> but the yeah, other thing that got me is. You got so Edwin, you you've played sports. Noah, you've played sports. Tilly, if you've kind of played, I played sports. basketball in middle school. If you can, if so you can you count what I do as playing sports, yes. You're I aware of what sports. being in the zone means, right? Yeah. Yeah. So like, it just means like you're on point. <laughs> it's not a superpower, right? It's yeah. not like a ah. Oh, that's that's what bugs me the most about crocodile basketball. They treat the zone as if it's like this special superpower that only a select number of players have the ability to access. Like it's one of those, the only way we can possibly come back in this game is if I enter the zone. And if I can't enter the zone, we're going to lose, lose this game. Okay. Like, that's not how the zone works. You don't just be like, oh, I gotta enter the zone, and then it's like, so this is the power of entering the zone. It's not ultra instinct. And that's how they treat it, to the point where even, like, one of the big championship teams sort of towards the end, their captain has the ability to bring his whole team into the zone. It's like, that's not how the zone works. Sam, 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 Sam. Here's Sam. the thing, though. That's not exclusive to that anime, because if we take Haikyuu, which is probably one of the single most beloved sports animes of all fucking time, for very good reason, every single character in that show just also has random points where they just suddenly develop super special magic powers or some special ability that only they can use on the court. And it's fucking ridiculous, but at the same time, that's why it's an anime. They're allowed to dramatize things like that. Or even Prince of Tennis. Like, half of the things mm -hmm. that the people try to do in Prince of Tennis is not only, like, impossible in Unrealistic. tennis, but it's impossible according to conventional physics. Because there's no way you could actually get a ball to bounce backwards with the way that the anime depicts them swinging their rackets. Like, with the sort of unconventional physics normally in sports. I mean, what rubbed me the wrong way about Moroccan no basketball is, unlike a few other, other of those things, it felt like they used it as a crutch too much for the dramatic tension. I like mean, it, I'm with it, you in that they didn't need no basketball. It to be there because there was no other thing in, in the anime that really was like, oh, it's a superpower thing. The problem was, is for the rest of it, they tried to be super serious, like, oh, this is an extremely realistic thing. Right at the beginning, it was very realistic, where it's one of those, Kuroko's big thing was, it's one of those, they couldn't tell where he was sending the pass. It was like, 
oh no, he's doing misdirection. Like he looks them off with his eyes. He turns his hips a subtle way. That's an actual basketball thing. And that felt like the direction they were going to go. And then just out of a left field turn, they start, even with the guy who was like, he mimicked other people's styles. That's actually a thing that people do. Like Ron Artest was a great defender because he was able to pick up on other, the way other people played. He didn't then copy that ability and did that exactly, but he was able to pick up on their style and that's what made him a great defender. That's a realistic element. They had all these realistic elements and then out of nowhere, they start introducing the zone. A dude who nails half-court three-pointers, or could even, I think he almost even, came, I can't remember correctly, I think he might have even shot a full-court three-pointer. But it's like, once you start having, ah oh yes, this character can casually score half-point threes, I'm like, okay, you just took me out of the realm you built me. You now have this player who is like, what's the point of any of the other guys on his team? You have a guy who can consistently nail three-pointers from behind half-court. Steph Curry can't even do that. And he's the best. Well, actually, no. Let me rewind that. Only Steph Curry can do that. And that guy is not <laughs> Steph Curry. Uh, speaking of this trend of superpowers, <laughs> might we want to discuss... I'm, I'm with you. Sam, I'm good. with you in yeah. that Kuroko no basketball sucks. But I don't think the dramatization of the zone is the major contributor to that. I think a lot more of it has to do with, as you said, the realism, but also I felt like the character development and the pacing was completely off for what they were trying to do with the show. Yeah, also that, it's one of those, it felt like they never faced any actual challenges, too. Like, I, to the point where, actually, moving on to that, that that's my I was going to say. Sports animates all the tropes <laughs> that feels every sports anime follows to the point where